And feel free to ask questions or try to get us to answer questions. Um, so, like, what strategy is um, Like, in general, you know, in continuous mathematics, you have a graph in two variables. Discrete mathematics, of course, has to be difficult. What we're really dealing with is just something like maybe you would say a diagram. I, I, I don't really know. There's not. You want. You're dealing with vertices and edges instead of functions and sets. So a graph is really just a pair of sets. Season edge. Such that, you know, like you can interpret for our purposes edges as just unordered pairs of vertices. So of the form UV. Is the writing okay? So like example. UV, EV, EF, EF. And so, like, I mean, this is a relatively arbitrary way of saying things, but, like, why is that particularly interesting? Well, it, a lot of things that maybe you wouldn't expect, at least initially, reduce to problems in graph theory. Um, I guess that's sort of a heuristic argument. And in general, like it's an interesting area of mathematics because it's applicable in mathematics, and there are some problems like the particular property of quantum graph theory that people find interesting, maybe from a philosophical point of view. It's just that, like in general, they're easy to state once you have all the notions uh, on the table, but they're generally difficult to solve and computationally they can be quite complex. But um, so. Just run through a couple of types of graphs, like example. Um, so first, like there's just the notion of connected graph. Um, because technically, like just given our definition, this could be a, be a graph, right? Just to find things nicely, and you have the vertices, edges. It's just we have two disconnected. So a connected graph is just simply where uh, a graph in which all your components are connected. So you might have two subgraphs that are connected by another uh, edge. Um, and I probably like when I say graph, uh, I mean simple graph, which just means you don't have redundant edges, like an edge that an edge can overtake for itself, or parallel. And then, a little more interestingly, complete graph on n vertices simply means a graph in which vertices are uh, mutually adjacent. So any pair of vertices is connected by um, and of EV, of course, be the pair. So this won't really come up. Here's a special insight that you should have again. It's uh, connected complete and bipartite, which just means you can partition the vertex set into two just joint sets that, such that I just go from one set to the other and don't get out of the And so, like, just two quick things to talk about is like your basic notion of equivalence in graph theory. You can have a graph of some vertices, 
which is just um, like a functional rule that takes edges to edges. So alpha is an isomorphism. Any adjacent two edges, image under your isomorphism, image under your isomorphism or adjacent. Um, um, and and then just another basic notion is the degree of a vertex. So like in those examples above, like for your first your triangle there, the degree of any vertex is two. Um, so the degree is just simply how many edges you need to break it. Um, and so I guess the classic example which the audience have already seen is uh, the Kennigsberg uh, bridge problem. Like this is really the first problem in graph theory. The idea is we have this concurrent Kennigsberg algorithm. Um, and really, this the center. This form uh, is composed of these atoms connected by bridges. Um, and so you have seven bridges, and the problem was posed to mathematicians in solid flat level is that is there a like a route it, from that a route that touches each island? But only like crosses a bridge with each bridge one. Um, so it's not clear exactly why this wasn't clear. Uh, so and like you can reduce this to a graph by representing a bunch of island bridge vertices. Like the basic observation that Euler made was just that if okay, connect every like if, if you're to get from an island, like if you go to any island and, and there is a tool that uh, just uses every bridge once, then you need for like for any bridge going onto an island, you need an edge. So the total number, so so the sorry, the degree of each um, vertex is going to be even, right? Because we get we get onto an island. Same bridges for so long. Um, but of course, we have a vertex in the island with, with three bridges, so there's a, a odd degree. Um, and so, such, such a route is you know, impossible. But enough about that. Um, and I mean, I guess from like the, the application's point of view, you, you can represent, uh, for instance, hydrocarbons by graphs, and you get some interesting maps in general. Um, but and, and from the computer science point of view, even uh, like there are lots of NP complete problems or NP hard problems that are easy to state, as I, as I mentioned before, um, having to do with graphs. So the graph isomorphism problem, um, which is essentially like given a graph G one, can you find uh, or given two graphs G one G two, can you find uh, an isomorphism? G1 to a subgraph of G2. That, that's not like the interesting peculiarity here that the computer scientist does for us. Um, which is always a silly story. Um, 